Hi, welcome. This video is about how to update, how to stay rolling, how to come from 1904 to 1905, basically. But it's going to be an all-inclusive video, starting from really from scratch. Let's uh, launch Google Chrome or Chromium, actually, and uh, get ourselves our ISO. So Arch Linux, you want to download something and you go and Google. You have different destinations. You can get them from SourceForge. You can get them from our data center in the Netherlands, or you can use torrents. Now I'm going to use um, seed host, which is this one. And I'm going to download that particular file. It only takes me 43 seconds and I have it. So I'm going to pause here. All right, it's here. And next up is, of course, setting up a virtual box. So Super F7 is a sh keyboard shortcut that we have programmed in here. And I've already a template and the template. What's important to know about the template is let's go for the settings first. That's going to cite the system, tell how much memory you have and give 50 50 in the processors. You have eight cores here. I'm going to give four to the ghost, uh, host and guest. Enable this thing here for Inksy to work on VirtualBox. And this is the most important one. Never ever forget it because standard is set to, I think this one, right? So you need to have this guy available or um, chosen for in order to have full screen 1920 on 1080 for me. Okay, so this is a template I've ready. I've made everything, all the settings are okay. It actually comes from the cloud. And I zip this this file, which is actually, so this thing that's in here is actually a file. You have here this thing. So I have a tar GZ, so right mouse click, and then you create an archive. I get this from the cloud and I tell them to open it, extract here and have a template, always available, always ready. The only thing I have to do is then add a, a file, machine, add, and I have this line in, in here. So I can start afresh with an empty virtual box like this. Next, full clone. This is probably the other one. So I'm going to remove that one. And why not remove that one as well? There you go. So this is an empty template is a clone so copy paste and then we're going to put in something to boot up from so Arch Linux 1904.4 double clicking moving it to the proper screen making it bigger and he did not find it so I'm gonna power it off again and tell hey my guy it's here go ahead boot up again Control F is a full screen that's a nice option we boot up and we wait and we'll see something. So if you know all of this, we'll just scroll ahead in the video. That's okay. But um, the thing is we're wanna, we want to update after rebooting, right? What to do to keep rolling? Because Arch Linux is not really a nicer that's uh, released every six months, like most of the, oh yeah, maybe I could say that as well. So. Whenever you want to know what version of uh, Calamares we're using, you can have a look at the button down here. So 3.4, 2.2.4, and this seven, you can forget that one. That's the seventh build I've made. So then you choose your language. What language would you like to have it in? And you will see that this will change. These things will, will actually change from, from uh, language. Oh God, <laughs> British English, no. American English. Okay, back to American English. And then you can follow along in your own language. You choose where you live. If this does not work, it happens from time to time because it's uh, pointing to a particular website. And if that website is down, you'll have to tell it yourself with this thing or just by carefully pinpointing. And that's some kind of game. Just pinpoint it really accurately. You know, here's Brussels. The system language can be changed here, American English, but you can change it to anything you like. The same goes for the dates and uh, the money and all that. So the numbers and then next you have to 
be careful to get the right keyboard otherwise you're in trouble and then next I'm gonna erase the disk with no swap and I'm gonna say next you can choose with uh, more swap if you like if you have less memory if you don't have that much memory in your system like two four gigabyte maybe you'll need some swap but starting from 8 which I have here or 16 or 32 no issue then um, well I'm trying I'm deciding to log in automatically without asking for password we can do that only because we have XFC so Arch Linux things knows that XFC is installed and then of course the login automatically will work if your Arch Linux B building like awesome Qtile and other stuff it still thinks that you have XFC so there's a manual intervention in the etc lightdm folder in the lightdm.conf you just say hey this is not XFC this is Qtile that's it just changing a word so next and this is your overview and the only thing you have to do is wait now everything is going to be installed and let's pause the video here all right it's all done it says so we're restarting we can restart like this you can restart like this shut down log out restart and then we need to update the system so we are actually starting from a version of let's say beginning of april and it's now mid-may so we'll have get one month and a half of updates in so like i said this this is not your general linux distro every six months you get something some some iso so arch linux is rolling so arco linux is rolling and if you want to know all about arco linux then you have here this um, link that gives you everything you need to know more or less uh, about Arch Linux and you can always join us <coughs> sorry on discord all the way down um, there are some learning phases you need to check out and here is the is discord and how to install discord the invitation link so this is Arch Linux but is it Arch Linux of April oops sorry do not show this confirmation again yes wallpapers come and go that's not important but here you have variety to give you the next one so if you want to change if you don't want variety lots of articles about variety on Arch Linux the thing is we have here a red button and the red button is spam tray we always can click on it this is a graphical way to represent that you need to download 715.5 megabyte but um, there is maybe more so we can have um, Pamac smarter in the sense that you can tell Pamac this 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 is all Arco Linux and Arch Linux we can make it smart in the sense that you say well include AUR so the Arch user repository and check for updates please okay so if you do that you get a second thing in here and indeed we need to do some some updating here not that much but some updating so basically um we need to update right well i rather use the terminal so ctrl t i do want you to learn more and more to use the terminal so here we are there is a command that you need to know and it's an alias and aliases are there to make our life easier but doesn't mean you don't need to know uh, what's behind it so an alias if you type that word you check out what aliases we all have and in here is the update so sudo pacman minus sy by ua once you go to phase 5 arch linux you'll have to use that thing not update it doesn't exist it's an alias all right so we are going to update the system which means Arch Linux and Arch Linux but maybe before I do that in order to be educative ed ed educative all right yeah educate people <laughs> I'll use a command called backup scan so when we made uh, released it the 1st of April the ISO we had specific configuration files and they're all in etc scan so if you want to have a, some kind of time machine as a frozen point 
in time of what we had then, you do pay backup scale, which provides you with a Control H with a folder. And a folder that's called scale with a date and, and then all that. So this is what we used to have the 1st of April. And this will change because we'll improve it and make new configs and changes and there's an update of variety, etc. etc. All these things come in and we have to adapt, we have to change. Everything is always in motion. So backup scale is done, so we can compare before the update, after the update. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna update the system. It's gonna say yes, replace it, yes, do it go ahead and let's wait for the installation to end after updating your system with this command we have a new etc scale sometimes not always it always depends what you have and here are the lines so scale 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 it means we have updates in your etc scale so if you want to know if you want to see what happens you can type in backup scale again that's one but also don't forget to just do scale afterwards as well so this scale command is going to update or copy paste everything that's in etc scale to your home directory which is quick and easy but if you have um, changed anything there you should always make a backup so let's uh, close this here what do we have now we have now two scales in here and the backup is as easy as ctrl c ctrl v and you have yourself a configuration backup you can always compare between these two to get your stuff back in so what did change so we've um, updated means that arch linux and arch linux are new and what changed you can change or compare the changes with these two with backup scale this one is before the update this one is after the update so compare it with melt double click it you don't want to see what's the same so get rid of that and then it's up to you to analyze and see okay they changed numbering so this is just a numbering fix we followed these guys are out and these guys are in and there's a new version of uh, fun apps we have a command, updated the command stay rolling for coming from March to April. And you can have a look and Pacman WA action D is gone and Umox is out and we do need JTK engines and all that. So these guys are uh, new. So you need to run them. If you want to have really, if you want to stay rolling, that's something you should do. And maybe we should do it straight away so we don't forget. So let's uh, minimize this. You go to bin, stay rolling, going from uh, March to April. Just run a script called stay rolling. You can have a look at the code and it's going to remove something that's orphaned and that's out. Loot's firmware was already out. Now W action D is out as well. And we're going to install the Arc themes from Nico and not the ones from Horst 3180. So we're all done. So that's another update. You see seven updates it says up here. So it probably is uh, the AOR, but let's keep going with Melt first. So that's done. Then there's also the stay rolling to come from April to May. So we're going to have a look at this. It's actually just removing a redshift so if you want to keep that then uh, don't do anything so if you really really want to stay in tune with what we have on the ISO then you say let's remove redshift and that's out like so there's a new uh, fun stuff then the fun stuff is called color view so that's basically this it's a command to show you all the curl colors in your uh, system here we have a new conky, conky called 
AOR slate and a little fix in Arc Linux. Let's have a look. Just a line in here, so an, an enter to get the icon in the proper place. So the Arc Linux white icon was over the Arc Linux B ISOs, I believe. So that's fixed. And this is our new AOR slate that we can take a look at. So Arc Linux Conkizen slate. I believe you do need to have four cores minimal. Otherwise, so a dual core will not work. And then you get this. Let's see if it works. Yes, so this is a new one. There's also a video about it and how it, how it all works. And um, you maybe need to change the LAN network address here, but basically uh, everything just works fine. Conk is in, back on, closing it again and saying, don't want to have it, bye, exit. So a new Conky, every month we get a new Conky. In um, i3 config, we have a super or Windows Q, which kills things. Uh, it came actually from a suggestion on Discord. So if you know things, how to improve Arc Linux in general, on Discord, many tips and, and tricks are shared. And this one has um, moved into our repos. So a super Q will kill also, and also a super shift Q will kill it. So that's in i3, but it's also in open box. And we got rid of the backspace, which we are not using, but there is the Q as well, uh, somewhere down here, here he is. So Windows Q close. And um, that's it, I think. Then Variety got a new update, so a new um, config file, which means that we have also, well, added the text from the developer. So this is a little bit more text from the developer here. And um, down here, some more commands, which is enabling BSPWM to be set. Waysock is here, some texts. They try to work with awesome, but it's still not working. So BSPWM is working, so we don't need our Arc Linux code. Starting from 0.7.2, the code up there works, but not for Xmonad and not for uh, Qtile. So we're keeping that and not for awesome. So these are the Arc Linux solutions to keep, um, to be able to change the wallpaper with variety. And just files and another one the super Q so closing a window works here as well and this was copy pasted over by mistake so that's out so there you go that's all the changes we've done in um, in May and we have now a rolling system everything is fine we have updated everything so the last thing we have to do is make sure Yep, we've done everything. The last thing we have to do is make sure that uh, AOR is up to date. So when you first do an update, Arch Linux and Arc Linux is updated. And if you do that one, this one afterwards, then the only thing left to update is actually just AOR. Let's scroll back up. Conquilua Arch is going to be updated, just one version up. Font Manager is going to be updated. Numic Circle icon theme. Uh, which is basically also maintained by me, right? So if you see that the Numix again, the Numix Circle icon theme is not up to date. There's, there's new commits, so this is the number of the commit, 42, 44. Just uh, flag it out of date on the AOR. I'll get a mail and um, I'll update this package. So for the rest, we just need to wait till everything is up to date. When you press spacebar now, you go to the end and see that's uh, the conky that's now being built. So let's pause here as well. So everything has been installed. Last test, PKSYUA. If everything is, if it says here there's nothing to do, then you have a complete, fully functioning uh, system of Arc Linux. Everything is, is fine. Everything is up to date. 
a new conkey is there, a new command, uh, fun script is there. So you can just go ahead. Maybe I was just thinking about this, the fun script. So if you go into bin, you get copy paste override from scale to here. So what will happen is that the elements that are there from the 1st of April will be there and stay there if uh, we change this number. So this guy and this guy are actually the same. Well, it's not the same, but it's um, an old one and a new one. You can compare. And there's some lines that I deleted here. Some echo lines. So it seems to be more like a cleanup act here and nothing new. So fine. So what we do is delete the old version to make it simple, right? So version four is out. This guy is a fix for AMD, but it's actually that guy. So these two guys are actually the same or more or less. Let's compare. They're identical. They are coming from uh, Nemesis. So this number is now out and this number is out. So these guys have been replaced and all the rest is okay. So that's fine. And then stay rolling. You can have a look at those elements as well. It might be that we also have a version two or version three. You just take the last version, of course. Okay, I guess this is it. We have a rolling release, so you're up to date, you have um, your fun, and um, well, enjoy Arch Linux. Cheers.